<laughs> fortunate enough to be sitting here with Joe Borden, who does video work professionally. And for all of you out there who are wondering how to make videos for YouTube or uh, Vimeo, and there's a bunch, isn't there? Yeah, I think YouTube's pretty much the king. Yeah, yeah. YouTube, YouTube's the king. And you can actually make money from YouTube videos. So whatever it is that's holding you back, we're going to have Joe explain how to move forward with that process. So one of the things would be, how do you get enough guts to turn the camera on and sit in front of it? <laughs> you just got to do it. <laughs> I mean, you just got to jump in the water and do it. I mean, no one has to watch your first videos. Right. I have a ton of videos that I filmed with Megan, my girlfriend, and she's got this really nice YouTube channel now. but. The first videos that we filmed, no one really saw. You know, right. she had started out, one of the easy ways to do a video if you're starting out is to do it with someone else. Because whenever you stop talking and you're trying to come up with some thoughts, the other person can fill in for you. And so that's how she started out, was with a partner, this guy Arnold. And then when she started doing videos by herself, it's a whole different dynamic. You know, mm -hmm. we're used to doing that. And so we filmed a bunch of videos just to kind of get it under her belt and we never put them out and then once she got more comfortable on camera by herself then we started putting them out there and she just kept on doing it and it's funny to watch videos from when you first get started to a year or two later you just become so much more comfortable on camera so there's oh there's a natural progression with everything that you do you just have to start and if you do post a video to YouTube right. does it go live or do you have to you can mark it private and send it to your friends, or you can mark it unlisted and send it to your friends so it doesn't have to be sent out to the world or anything like that. You can get a little bit of feedback from maybe your family or friends first. That's a good idea as well. Absolutely. Uh, and it, when you first post it, it's always private, right? You know what? I don't know how that, I don't know what the default setting is right now with YouTube. Okay. Um, what we do is we schedule them. So we upload it maybe overnight because we were in Hawaii and the internet was pretty slow. So we'd always schedule it. We'd upload it and then it would go live like 9 o'clock Eastern time in the morning. Uh, so that's how we set up ours. On a specific day or? We try to. We try to do specific yeah. days. A lot of people say the weekends are kind of like a speed bump that they, uh, they don't get as many views on weekends. But we found that Megan gets a lot of views on the weekends. So we try to put them up over the weekend. From what I've heard from YouTube and my own experience, Wednesday is the best day. Right. Because okay. because I think when you, and you can help me out with this, but I believe that when you post the video, it only stays up in the search engines for so long. Right. And then it goes back down. But the more hits you get, the longer it will stay, the there. It'll stay there. Yeah, it's definitely true. Okay. So I don't know, the, the Wednesday thing, it, it also matters because some people, your subscribers, they can get email notifications when your video goes up. That's something you have to set when you change your subscriber settings. Mm -hmm. So when she puts a video up, she gets, you know, it hits the 301 view count right away, which means it gets stuck at 301 views because more people viewed it than that. And YouTube is just trying to make sure they're real views. Uh, but that happens immediately, like within an hour, she's maxed out her views. And I think it's because people are getting email notifications yes. about, about it. So it doesn't, for her, it doesn't matter what day she really puts it up on. Right, and that's uh, something that I've noticed too is pick a day and try to have a video up on it. It's not the end of the world if it doesn't right. make it on that day. Right. But nobody wants a Sunday paper on Monday. <laughs> right, yeah, that's true. Okay, so try to get it up on that day and try to pick a time and then people get used to it and it's like a uh, prescription. Right, well, or it's a like a TV show. People, people have been watching TV shows yeah. for decades and it's on a specific night at a specific time. And so if you can do that, all even better for you. Absolutely. Now, what about cameras? The people that don't have cameras or? I mean, everyone has a camera now mm -hmm. with your phone. I met some dude here who has a ton of videos and he's got a pretty nice subscriber base and he films everything on his phone. So you don't, you don't need fancy equipment or anything no. like that. And, and they make uh, tripods, they make uh, uh, a handheld uh, A handheld tripod, oh, right. That so you can, you can, yourself, you can yeah. actually walk down the street filming yourself <laughs> with your iPhone. You may look a little goofy, you may yep. get some looks from people, yep. but uh, you can do it. Uh, let me see, what else? Uh, I shoot with this. Yeah. I don't shoot with, uh, this is a Z10. This is this, a yeah, this okay. is a Z10, Kodak Z10. Uh, so people have flip cams, 
I guess book cam's not even really around anymore, but the basic handheld type of thing. Any everybody yes, has a camera. And I have one of those also. Uh, we shoot with a Canon. You can shoot with any type of these, the digital SLR. Mm -hmm. And I have it on a shoulder mount, and I actually record the audio to a separate device, the Zoom H4n. And we've got a few different lenses on here, but this is just kind of what I mean. I do this work professionally, so I have right. a nice camera. Right. Uh, and it's also one of the ways that you can make your video stand out as well because a lot of people are used to on youtube a lot of people just film like this and everything like that and a lot of people are doing that one of the ways to stand out is to you know maybe rent a camera for your first one or something like that and make it a little bit higher quality that's something that is unique to yes. YouTube now. So. and use a tripod instead of moving right. the camera around. I, I do uh, a lot of videos handheld, but I'm pretty steady with the camera. I don't care how steady I think I am, nothing compares to a tripod. Without a doubt. And you don't have to spend a lot of money on a camera. I think the if there's any flips around, they're probably going for like 50, 60, maybe 70 bucks right, now. Right, under $100. Yeah. And a GoPro is, uh, I think it's, they have a $300 model, a $200, a $300, and a $400 model. Right. But the difference on what they do is amazing, and uh, if you watch any videos and see the guys with the wingsuits on right, jumping, yeah. they have GoPros they all stuck have all GoPros. over. Yeah. So there are inexpensive ways to get into it, but the most important thing is to turn it on and record yourself. If you don't want to post it, delete it. Do it again. Uh, I think one of the best things about filming yourself is you become a better speaker. Absolutely. And that's applicable in all areas of your life. You become more comfortable socially, talking to people, and that's a skill I think everyone should develop. You become a more well-rounded person. So. And you see if you're doing this. <laughs> yeah, you, you know? start to notice yourself. Like, I'm moving around a little bit. I'm saying you know. I'm a lot. And you're going to be nervous at first, maybe. Maybe you won't be, but it's okay. As you do it, you'll get more used to it. Right. Uh, and also, we live in a, a time in technology where ideas can spread like that. You know, 20 years ago, I could have had a thought, or I could have had a story, or I could have had an idea that I wanted to share with people, right. and it just wouldn't have been possible. And if someone wanted to be in front of a large audience, it really wasn't likely that they were going to be able to do that. And nowadays, right. you get to pick yourself to do that, whereas before, you know, an executive or someone working at a TV station or a director had to say, hey, I choose you. And I could say, hey, I choose myself. I'm going to make a video. I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to let the world see who I am and see what I'm thinking or make a video and be creative. So you know, I think we live in the best time to be alive is right now. So I'm fortunate enough to be seeing here with Joe Burden. Borden. Borden. Yeah, Joe Borden. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fortunate enough to be sitting here with Joe Borden, 